Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of the Four Horsemen of the No DQ NXT team of, <laughs> of NXT TakeOver predictions. I, I almost did it. I almost got through it. We're gonna you see still... It. No, no, no. Don't keep restarting. Just go. Yeah, I'm, we're going to keep going. It's the No so, DQ NXT team. Yeah. What did I say? Yeah. <laughs> Full of freaking giggling buffoons like me. What did I say? Did I say, did I get it on again? No, NXT you're fine. Team. Just, just go. Just oh, go. Well, yeah, oh. NXT Mm. Okay, I get it now. There's no, uh, there's only one T, so, um, I don't know. I feel like that sounded wrong, but. Um. <laughs> Anyways, it's 12:30 at night. We yeah. got a lot of stuff that's gonna happen I here. Think, Not a lot, but. Yeah, I think we're also feeling video fatigue from that lat from that WrestleMania video we did. Dude, I'm pissed off about that WrestleMania video. It was so long. It was yeah. like. It was well. Sky took it's us an hour much. to get the hell on here to even start doing shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, that was fatiguing. Up. Fix your shit. Uh, all right, uh, well, let's do the uh, introductions. I am the first and only ever dual champion on both the, you know, the NX team um, and the Wrestling Rundown. The Berman of Boston, Owen Finch, and I am here. And I'm here with. You suck. <laughs> what, what, well, if I suck so much, why don't you introduce yourself then? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Hi, I'm James Hebert. I'm, you know, uh, different. I have a wrestling show, and uh, it's called Women's Youth Wrestling. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Simple as that. Uh, Noah, don't file for copyright. <laughs> he might now. And then uh, after match, wrestling's gonna get copyrighted. Your channel's gonna get copyrighted. Wrestling Fortune Forty Four is gonna get copyrighted. Noah, let's turn this into a storyline. We'll make gangbusters. Just saying. All right. Who wants to? Whoever wants to introduce themselves next is welcome. <laughs> well, I'm All right. <laughs> huh? All right. I'm the cleaver, Colin Andrew. Uh, I cook food. I review wrestling. I have a good time. Let's fucking review and predict the NXT TakeOver New York shit, because I'm ready for this. It's going to be a good card. Yeah. And I'm the holiday Chris Mace, and after that WrestleMania review and predictions, oh, Lord, let's just get this one going, because I'm excited about this show. Yeah, I'm excited. All right, so now I'll ask you guys. See, isn't your morale better? I, I think my morale is better. Yeah. Um... So my excitement level is up now. I'm gonna ask everybody, what is your excitement level going into the show? James, I'm gonna go with you ten. last. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say I'm gonna go to James last, but oh yeah. I'm a ten. Yeah. So I'm a ten. What the fucking ten? Ten. Yep. Yeah. I mean, is it because you go in live? Yeah. I like Colin. I'll go with you next. What is your excitement level going? I'm going with? like an eight. Okay. Um, Chris. A nine. I'm going to say, uh, including two, the two matches we're going to see afterwards, like the next week, nine and a half. Um, I'm really, really excited about this show. Like, super. I feel like the nine and a half is because I can't watch the show live. I have to wait a day to watch it because of that stupid test. So, um, Why does the test have any. School. Don't let Noah. school ruin your Noah's enjoyment. Knocking shit out of the park. Going yeah. to school. All right. Uh, yeah, he is. Let's uh, talk about this show, though. We're going to be more lively in this um, video. We're going to try to be. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think it's already really gone off to a way be. better start. Yeah, <laughs> right. I think we're already, um, we're already doing We're it. halfway there. So, oh, living on a prayer. <laughs> let's you know we're not on the rights of this music. Yeah. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> let's right. start with the first like match that's listed here: the NXT North American Championship match. Velveteen Dream defending against Matt Riddle. Very excited about this match. This will be an awesome match. I know the storyline isn't as there as it much as it wanted to be to be because this storyline got changed a bit because of that. You know, they had to do that Fatal Five Way match and things like that. And who even knows if, you know, this was supposed to be this match. I was hearing rumors it was supposed to be a triple threat match with Adam Cole involved, but then that got changed. But still, they made gold 
Um, and like I talked about before, main roster can't say they had to do things on the fly because NXT did things on the fly. They came out with gold. So, Can I also add this little observation? Notice when Plan A goes out with Tommaso Ciampa, Plan B is Undisputed Era. Yeah. Um, just saying, they have Plan Bs. They don't just stick with one plan. They don't stick with one star. WWE main roster, take notes. So, we're going to start with uh, Chris Mace. Who are you predicting to win this match? I'm predicting Matt Riddle to win and become the new NXT North American champion. Hold on for beyonds, bro. Um, Colin, who do you have? I'm going with Dream, man. Uh, I don't see him as a transitional champion. Um, we already had that with Johnny Gargano. Um, I see Dream holding it until at least the next takeover. Um, unless, unless they have no intentions of calling him up, they're going to leave the title on him. All right. Uh, James, who are you picking for this match? I'm actually going to go against the grain on that because I do think they are going to be calling Velveteen up, sadly. Uh, God, good luck, Patrick Clark. That's all I'm going to say. Um, but that being said, I think this will be the last transitional champion for the North American title because after this, I expect a long, lengthy run by Matt Riddle as the NXT North American champion beating everybody and anybody All defending right. that title. I, I'm expecting a Pete Dunn like streak. So you're saying like he'll hold it for like 600 days? Maybe not that long, Maybe but that somewhere long around that time. All right. So I am actually going to agree with Colin and say Velveteen Dream because I don't think they're going to call him up because they literally will, like, deplete the roster because they just called up Alistair Black and Ricochet and the Velveteen Dream. I'm not saying they don't have anybody down there, but, you know, it's a pretty big loss for NXT right now. And there's still so much he can do in NXT uh, with the title, and he just won the belt not that long ago. So I'm going to say Velveteen Dream wins. So I like this. So we'll already split across the board and we're the first match in. So it's and, it's, and it's actually a match that you can sink your teeth into. Yeah. Great. Exactly. Idea. Quite out of life, everyone. Well, actually, we didn't really agree with a lot of picks at WrestleMania because James had a lot of picks, different picks than us. So, um, yeah. He's he's taking this one serious. Yeah. Yeah, I'm All actually right, uh, I actually care about this card. That's that's yeah. the difference. All right, then we have a WWE United Kingdom Championship match. WWE United Kingdom. Well, are they officially is it officially now just the NXT UK Championship now? Like. Uh, was it still, uh, either way, uh, either it's still going to be United Kingdom Championship. All right, thank you. Pete Dunn versus Walter. I'm going to start with uh, Colin this time. Who are you picking for this match? Um, I'm picking Walter. Oh. Um, I mean, that's... All right, Pete Dunn has been... It's been like 680 days or some shit like that. You know, in May 17th will be two years. Yeah. Since he won that title at Chicago Takeover, um, I see with the Superstar Shakeup coming up, the not the Monday after Raw, so not the eighth, but the fifteenth. I can't see my calorie from here, but yeah, Tax Day, Monday the fifteenth. Uh, I see him getting brought up either to the main roster or 205 Live or something along there. But he, this is where he drops the title. I would, in retrospect, I would love for him to hold on to it until the next UK takeover and have that UK title change hands in the UK for fucking once. But um, I, this is Walter's time. He's the biggest threat. Uh, you can see Pete Dunn hasn't been using his bitter end to win lately. You know what I mean? He's been using the, the arm bar or whatever. I see him, A, not being able to hit the bitter end on Walter because he's the size difference. And B, if he tries to go for that arm bar, he just breaks out of it, hits him with the power bomb number one. And one, two, three, we got a new champion. It's going to be a hell of a match, but I'm picking oh, yeah. Walter in the end. 
I cannot wait to see this live. All right, uh, it's such a hard hitting affair. What are you picking? I'm picking Walter. That's the same. Simple as that. Everything Colin said. I can't wait to see this live. It's just going to be strong strike after strong strike. It's going to look like a fight. It's going to yeah. look like a fight. Chris. I think this is going to be the match that still showed my opinion. I'm seeing Walter to the throne, Pete Dunne, finally, after almost two years of him being champion. There's no credible challenger left after Walter for Pete Dunne if he retained it, so I'm going with Walter to win that title. And I'm going also, Walter. Uh, but I actually think that what would be unique about this match is because, uh, you know, Walter's so big now and stuff, um, a lot of Pete Dunne's, like, offense is going to be... Uh, because a lot of his offense is like powerhouse stuff. He won't be able to do a lot of his offense. So it, it will be a, like a unique matchup that Pete Dunne never faced before. Um, so mm -hmm. I, like th I like this matchup a lot. And look at this. So 10, well, 11 minutes in, we're already through two matches on the show. So I'm happy. Um, Hallelujah. <laughs> all right. Then we have um, the NXT Tag Team title match. Uh, War Raiders defending against Alistair Black and Ricochet. We're going to start with Chris this time. Who you got for this match? War Raiders retain. I don't see Aleister Black and uh, Ricochet win the NXT title, especially since they're pretty much at this point called up to the main roster. I don't see them winning, so I'm going War Raiders retain. Uh, like, same, with, same with me. Yeah. Still going to be an awesome match, though. Yeah. Can't wait. Yeah. Colin? I'm picking War Raiders to retain. It's going to be a great match. Um, see, if... If Ricochet and Aleister Black weren't incorporated into a tag team title match this Sunday at WrestleMania, I would give them the benefit of the doubt of winning the titles. But I don't see them winning the tag team titles from NXT when they've been on the main roster for the last six weeks consistently, nine times out of ten, both shows. Yeah. And then winning the NXT tag titles, then going to WrestleMania and the challenge for the SmackDown tag team titles with those, ti with those championship belts. Like... I just don't see that happening. Um, you know, War Raiders, it's going to be a good match because, you know, like Rowan Hansen's power you can, and the speed and agility of Ricochet, we're going to see some really cool spots. Um, I'm really looking forward to this match a lot, but I see War Raiders hold on to it in the end, especially because they, you know I mean, they've won it in January at Take Over Phoenix. And. That was only in January, and this is really like their biggest first, like their real big first defense. So I see them holding on to it for a little while. Yeah, I agree. Um, this is why I kind of hate that they caught them black and ricochet up early because this kind of makes this match too so predictable and stuff. But I thought that, I thought that this match would be awesome. You know, I think this match is designed to kind of put the World Raiders over um, mm -hmm. Alice of Black and Ricochet to make them look strong on the way out. So I like it a lot. Um, all right. Then we have uh, the next match. Um, it's the Fatal Foy match for the NXT Women's Championship. Uh, Shayna Baszler defending against Bianca Belair, Io Shirai, and Kyrie Sane. So I'll I'll go first this time. No, actually, James, have you gone first yet? Um, no, I have not. Um, James, so who do you pick to win, and who do you think is going to take the fall? was a tough one. Um, Shirai via Bel Air. Wow. Uh, I literally just wrote Shirai Bel Air. There you go. There you go. Um, Colin? Not Colin. Chris? Uh, I'm going to go Eero Shirai, and I'm going to say she pins Kyrie Sane. So, I'm going different with you guys. I'm picking Shayna Baszler just because I don't think she's done in NXT yet. Uh, mainly because the you know M Melina, Sophia, and Jasmine Duke aren't even close to being ready to being called up to the main roster. And I think Shayna Baszler should lose the NXT Women's Title in a one-on-one -on -one match, not a four-way match. And I think she's gonna make um, Kyrie Sane pass out to the co what do they call her finisher? Not the the Killer Fuda Clutch. There it is. Um, so. Yeah, this is a whiskey pick, but I'm going with it. I'm picking Shayna Baszler, so there let's see go. if it pays off. And look at this. We're already at the fifth match of the show, How, and we're not even 15 minutes in. So This is your main event. So we have 
like I said, they turned, you know, gold. No, they turned a bad situation into gold. I almost said gold into a bad. I almost said gold into a bad situation. Goldie. Um, it's the two out of three falls match for the vacant NXT championship. Johnny Gargano versus Adam Cole. I'll go first. Um, yeah, I can't wait for this match. This match is going to be awesome. Have they ever wrestled before? I, I've never, um, Probably on the indies. But yeah, I've no. seen it at AIW. But I have a feeling, though, this is going to be like a whole different level, though. Like, of anything they've ever wrestled in before, though. Um, and I think um, a lot of people, I think, are going to pick Gargano because it's finally his moment to win. But... I feel like because of the Chompo injury, I think Adam Cole was going to win. They need they need a new heel, a new top heel anyways, and Adam Cole... They need a top guy. heel. Not just a top heel, but a top heel faction. Yeah. I'm seeing this being the start of the exodus of gold for yeah. the Undisputed Era. And I think, too, uh, a lot of people wonder you know, what the future of Johnny Gargano is. I think Johnny Gargano is going to stay in NXT. I think now that Chompa got hurt, I think he's going to... His story... Because there's so much he could still do in NXT. He could still go for the NXT title. He can, you know, he could, he can, you know, and that would take up probably, you know, a good amount of time. And then when Ciampa comes back, um, if Gorgano wins the belt, Ciampa can go after him and they could finally blow off that feud and, you know, Gorgano. done with it. Yeah, you know, Gorgano can retain the title. And then you could, fi- you could find a way to get the belt off Gorgano. Because like we said, we don't know when Ciampa's going to be back. If he... If he is going to be back, you know, obviously, because I hear the n- injury that he has is like, you know, edge type of serious. So, um, he's operating on borrowed time, he said. Yeah. Jesus. But that's I'm going to say Adam Cole, Adam Cole uh, wins the and becomes a new champion. And like you said, it will be the start of the expedition of gold. You know, it will lead to Roderick Strong winning the North American title and Fish and O'Reilly winning the tag titles. I feel like, though, they should hold off on. Undisputed Era being the tag team champions again because they've been in the title picture for so long that I think uh, it would get stale if they continue to be in it. I think they need to kind of go away from them for a bit. But that- well, I I would not mind seeing it to be honest, only because it would be the first time any group has won the tag team titles three times. Yeah. So, but I mean, James, you pretty much already gave your pick. Um, they just kind of bounce it off of mine. So let's go with uh, Chris next. Who, who are you picking? I'm going to go take that wild chance. I'm going to go Gargano to win it finally after all these times he's been unsuccessful, unsuccessful, unsuccessful. How many times can you be unsuccessful before you, people just stop caring whether he ever wins it or not? I think this has to be the time that he gets pulls the trigger. He actually wins the title. I think they go with three falls. I can see where Cole wins the first fall, and then Gargano's got to come back and get the second fall, and then Gargano snaps, gets desperate, and finally he was able to get that third fall and finally win the title. So I'm going Gargano to win it. All right, Colin, you going to tie it, or are you going to make Chris be all by himself? Ooh, Chris, you're all by yourself. Oh, well, if my pick wins, then I'm, I'm cool, good. baby. There you go. All day. Um... No, I I feel that with the Tommaso Champ injury, it really fucked Johnny Gargano, um, and it's going to elevate Adam Cole into that Tommaso Champ role. Uh, as much as I would love Gargano, the Cleveland kid in me would love to see Gargano win it. Um, like, and then the next night after, like the night after WrestleMania, see Undisputed Era uh, debut as a faction. And because yeah. WWE needs a dominant faction since the Shield's going bye bye, uh, you know what else do we have? Sanity. Uh, we see how that fucking worked out. Mm-hmm. So we need some type of new dominant faction. I think Undisputed Era would be dope as hell. Uh, but I uh, see Adam Cole winning it, and yeah, it could be on the expedition of gold. I mean, Roderick Strong could be the one to take it off Velveteen Dream after he retains it. Uh, and then, boom, we get right back into the tag team feud with Undisputed Era and War Raiders. Um, like you said, uh, James, first time, three time NXT tag champs, why not? Yeah. Would that really count, though? Because technically. Yeah, I was just to say, it doesn't really count because one was Roderick Strong and Kyle O'Reilly, and one was Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly. Yeah, so. Yeah, well. But Kyle O'Reilly would be the first person to win three yeah, times. He would. He would. So. Yeah. 
you're partly it's it's partial there. Yes. But yeah, I'm going Adam Cole. And then uh just What if they went in the route of Bobby Fish and Roderick Strawn? And let Kyle O'Reilly brown shot on his own. I'd be cool with that. Imagine him coming down with that singles title air guitar and the fuck yeah, out yeah. of it. So uh I another another reason I didn't think of is uh it makes sense for Adam Cole to win too, because this is the same building where he debuted and the same building um well where he lost yeah. the where he lost the NXT North American title. I was going to say where he won it, but I forgot he didn't win it in Brooklyn. He won it in New Orleans last year. So, I don't know. But still, it would make all the sense in the world. So, mm-hmm. And, it, it, and uh, these matches uh, won't count, but we'll predict them for fun. Um, the good, these are going next week, but James, you're going to see them live. Who wins this match? Candice LeRae or Aaliyah? Candice LeRae. Yeah, Candice LeRae. Candice. Chris, Kansas. All right, this is really a fun one. The street puppets of Fabian Eichner and Marcel Bartel. Mm-hmm. Fabian oh. Eichner, Marcel Bartel, bro. Fuck oh, yeah, dude! European Union all day. Yeah, all the all the way. Yeah. I'm yeah, actually European Union because I think they have a plan. I think they're gonna actually turn the street puppets heel because they did like this promo not that long ago where they talk about like whether like what do we have to do to become like a top tag team. I think this is like slowly building to like the Street Profits heel turn, um, because uh, you know they um, they need some heel tag teams in NXT, and I think the Street Profits. I think the Street Profits, like you could say, like they're so over. But I th- I would like to. I think they could work as heels. I think they. I feel like uh, it would be a d- different direction. Plus, I also just really like Fabian Eichner and Basel Botel. They're just awesome. Like, um, so, and I can't say like a lot the other reason because it ties in NXT UK, and I don't know if you guys watch it. But also, I forgot the other tiebreaker. I almost forgot it. Um, we'll start with uh, James. What do you think the match... So this is not included in the dog matches, but what do you think the match order of this show is going to be? A uh, match order of the show? Yeah. Quite honestly, I see them doing North American title first. Okay. Women's title second. Okay. Tag title third. Uh... Then it would be the UK title fourth, then the NXT title fifth. That's how I uh, see that going. Um, Colin, what do you think the match order is going to be? Um, well, just, should I go Chris and then come back to you? No, I'm good. North okay. American, uh, UK tag, women's UK, uh, and then the NXT title last. Okay. So, yeah. North American, UK tag, women's NXT. Chris? I'm going with the tag titles first. I'm going with the women's title second. I'm going with the North American title third. The NX, the uh, WWUK title fourth, and NXT title last. All right, I'm going UK title first, tag title second, uh, North American third, women's fourth, and two out of three falls the main event. So, there's that. Um, now that we've done all that, and look at this. We got this done in less than 30 minutes. So, um, I feel like we should have done this. I feel like we should have done the tape over one first. But, you know. I, well, we, 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 I think, I think our morale would have probably been down after the Skype issue. So. True. Yeah. Um, so, because there's nothing else really uh, to talk about. So, any uh, thing we want to... We'll start with uh, Colin this time. Anything you want to plug? No, actually, we started with Colin last time. We're gonna start yeah. with James. We're gonna start with James this time, even though he's got the longest run. YouTube.com slash user slash J H E B E R T S I D E nine five. Also, check me out on Twitter. Same thing at J Hebert side ninety five. And also, let me get my screen share up. Screen share. Yay! You can see yourselves. And now there's the Immortal Show. Watch it. YouTube.com slash user slash W Y W Pride. Not so long now, is it? Yay. <laughs> all right. Uh, Chris, your plugs and uh, all that. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook or Chris wherever may. Support Aftermath Wrestling. Support no uh, join the, You can join the Facebook chat group. Uh, Armbar, capital A-R-M-B-A-R, exclamation, exclamation point. point. Didn't forget it this time. 
And like I said, we all work our butts off on these videos. So I hope everybody enjoys them. And, you know, like I said, just like, share, subscribe, just support. Mm -hmm. All right, Colin. Uh, find me on Twitter, Facebook, or not. Don't add me on Facebook. Don't. Uh -oh. I won't fucking add you. Don't do it. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, Twitter and Instagram, Colin twenty six Andrew. Um, you can follow. Me. I have a YouTube channel, but I really don't use it that much. I mean, maybe if I start doing a couple more videos, I'll throw that tag out. I just don't remember what it is right now. So, uh, subscribe to Aftermath Wrestling. That's all one word: A F T E R M A T C H Wrestling. Uh, again, also Armbar, all, all capitals: A R M B A R. Explanation point. Um, a lot of good discussions, a lot of good chats, a lot of good memes, a lot of good, just fun, good times. I did some polls in there today, I did a live video in there today. Um, you know, join up. Uh, we're all in there. It's a good time. Um, Jerry and Stefan, uh, Noah Foster, Cindy G. Uh, um, know, a couple other cool people, cool, cool cats. I can't think off the top of my head, but yeah, uh, just keep it growing. Um, subscribe, uh, click the bell. Share, like, comment, all that good stuff. So, do the thing. Yes. Do and the as me, uh, thing. Before I forgot, because we forgot the last video, and I feel bad about it. Before you plug... forgot. Um. Yeah, I forgot. Um. <laughs> but I don't want to forget here. So, um. Make sure tomorrow at eight o'clock p.m. You check out the uh, wrestling, challenge. yep, wrestling trivia challenge. Jeff Meacham, Greg Cherry, one hour Iron Man match. Fortunately, I Jeff won't be Cherry. watching. I won't. Unfortunately, I won't be Cherry. watching. Fortunately, I won't be watching it live because uh, I'll be doing the wrestling rundown. Um, so I'll be at work, but I'm gonna do my damnedest to play it over my uh, speaker. Yeah, so I'll be off for work when it comes on. Thank God. And James will be I'm the one manager. Stage. I can leave if I want to. I'll be I'll be with Alan. Yeah, to have another review this stupid want... card again. Stupid mania card again. Hey 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 hey! You get to what? No, you'll be reviewing NXT UK and NXT first. So no. you better give this man pizza, Owen. I uh, have, like lots. Having to sit I through that again. I demand. I demand pizza. Hey, this can be uh. This could be a way you pay me back for all the money you owe me after I bought you all that stuff. So, yeah, oh true. lord, well, true. that's very true. Yeah. So, anyways, we're gonna see who comes out champion after this coming weekend here Wait, on No Q. Owen, you gotta plug the rest of your stuff. Predictions. Yeah, I gotta plug the. I gotta plug the rest of my stuff. Uh, see them, brothers. I'm tired. See them, brothers. This channel, Rest in Fortune Forty Four, and. Um, I want to talk and him. I know I'm wrestling on YouTube channel. So. There's that. Let's see who comes out as the NX Team Predictions Heavyweight Champion. Um, hey, it could still be me this if WrestleMania goes my way. So um, spoiler alert: it probably won't be. <laughs> hey, I got a good chance. I have a I have a good chance to win. Um, you have a third, but, third, third chance of winning, but I'm a genetic freak and I'm not normal. So you take your thirty third chance of winning. I got something, something. I don't play the guitar. <laughs> All right, well, uh, we're just gonna end off with that. So uh, everyone have a well, not have a let's have a good morning or night wherever you're watching this. So yeah, afternoon. Yep. Yeah. So long. See ya. Good night. Twenty four.